Well, you've, you've hit on something, Pete, that's, you know, it's a bigger problem than just UAW workers. And I, I want to focus on this, but I've talked about it recently, and we're going to talk about it more going forward, because here's an issue. Uh, kids being born in all sorts of towns around this country, and I'll use, you know, Petoskey, Michigan, or uh, Boyne City, or, or any place in northern Michigan. You're born there, you can't afford to live there. And that's true of cities in Massachusetts, and cities in Montana, and all over this country. Kids are born there, but the wages are nowhere near what it takes to afford a house, just like you talked about at the top here. You know, what are we going to do with, with young people that are going out there and they're making, you know, places, uh, fast food joints, paying 18 and $20 an hour, and you still can barely afford rent? You can't afford to even consider buying your first house? Now you've got interest rates because of Biden's bad behavior uh, that are 7% minimum for a mortgage? I mean, Bidenomics is crushing this country. People can't afford to buy a house, and young people look like they have no chance at all, which is why there's all this frustration. And I think it's a great point you made. What do you say about that? No, I think that's exactly right. I think, uh, you know, you now see the Democrats uh, parading into Michigan and standing with the UAW workers, the same folks that have given us Bidenomics, uh, that have given us massive deficits. Uh, and those types of things that have given us the inflation rate that we see today. And they're standing with the UAW workers. Uh, it's kind of like, well, yeah, you really should, but you also ought to go back to Washington uh, and change your uh, and change your views and change you know, the policies that you're putting in place. Uh, I don't know where the Republicans are. I don't know why they're not standing with the UAW workers. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's I, there's too many Republicans who have a, a reflexive reaction to uh, instinctive reflexive reflexive reaction to the UAW or to unions that says, ah, no, we need to stay away. And it's kind of like, no, reach out. This is grassroots America. Uh, they're speaking for a lot of frustrated American workers and Republicans ought to be standing standing there with them. And uh, I'm, I've heard rumors that President Trump is going to be coming into Michigan uh, to stand aside the UAW workers, uh, and I think he should. That doesn't mean we buy all of the demands coming from the UAW, but we recognize the hardships uh, that the Biden administration has put them in, and we're going, we're going to, you know, Republicans ought to be reaching out to them and saying, you know, you ought to, we, we feel there's justification for some of the things that you're doing, and here are the policies that Republicans are going to put in place so that when we get to 2024, the UAW and unions recognize that, hey, when we were striking, the Republicans, they came and talked to us and they gave us a different proposal uh, because the reason we're striking is because of Democrat policies and because of some internal policies uh, at, uh, at the big three. But bottom line is they're on strike because this economy is not working for them.